Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fire Fox Studios and today we're going to work on another Mosaic Monday. This time we're going to be doing, I believe it's pattern 12, but it'll be correct in the description in the title. <laughs> so we are going to start off by doing choosing two colors. So when you're doing mosaic, you need to have at least two colors. You can always do a bunch of colors. It's completely up to you, but one color will always act as your color A which for me is going to be this white one, and another color will always act as your color B, which for me is going to be blue, because that's easy for me to remember when I'm grabbing yarn. So we're going to start by chaining in a multiple, and you're going to notice as you go through my videos, the various different mosaic crochet tutorials are, they, you start with a certain multiple to chain out to begin your piece. Since you're doing these kind of geometric designs, you can alter those and add stitches in at the beginning if you're trying to go with a larger multiple and mix up several patterns that have different multiples. So it's always possible to mix these together. You're just going to have to kind of figure out and do a little bit of math on how many extra stitches you're going to have to add to patterns that require a shorter multiple than one of the patterns that you're going to use. You will always, when you're using multiple mosaics, you will always choose to base your starting chain off of the mosaic that has the most stitches required because it's going to take the most space to complete the pattern. You want to do all of your starting count off of that and then you can make adjustments to add in other mosaics that are different multiples. And I know a lot of you already know that, but if you're brand new to do, doing mosaic crochet, I did want to explain that because today's work is going to be in a new multiple. We're going to be doing multiples of 10 plus 4 at the end to fit this stitch pattern all together. So I am going to get started by choosing color A, and you will need to do the same. So for me, I'm going to choose this white yarn. We're going to start with color A for our very first row and foundation row. So we're going to chain in our multiple, which we're just going to get a little slip knot onto our hook, however you like to do your slip knots. And we're going to start by chaining in multiples of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So if you've been following me, you already know how to do your starting chain. Now I'm going to do another set of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and now I'm gonna add four stitches on to the end one two three and four you are gonna go ahead and pause here and continue chaining until you've reached the desired size of the project that you're going to do using this particular mosaic so if you're making a pillow if you're making a bag a blanket a scarf whatever you're gonna do go ahead and get your chain set up so that you can come back and work row one with me to get started so I've done my 24 chains in my case, so two multiples of 10 plus four at the end. The additional chain, the fourth chain in this case, is always your turning chain. So you always, with these mosaics, the way that I teach them, is you always have a turning chain at the very end of your row, so your foundation row. So in my case, the 24th stitch is actually a turning chain. So I'll, I'm going to begin row one now, but I'm going to be skipping over this chain right here. So I'm skipping this one, and I'm going to work here into that second chain from the hook, never counting the loop that's on your hook. So in this case, I'm going to go right here to this chain, and I'm going to insert, and I'm going to make sure that I go under the V so that I am doing a traditional single crochet in my very first stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my yarn and pull up a loop. I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through two. And that is a traditional single crochet. And that's what you're always going to do in your very first stitch and your very last stitch of each and every row. So now we're going to start the multiple for this row, which is very, very simple. We're going to do one back loop only single crochet in each and every stitch and then one the last stitch in the very end of the row is always going to be your uh, standard traditional single crochet. So you're just grabbing up one loop in the very next chain. So you're going on that back loop just like that. 
and you're going to grab your yarn to wrap and grab and pull up a loop and then grab and pull through those two loops and that is a back loop only single crochet so now we I've kind of stretched out this stitch a little bit because I was pulling on it so I've worked into this stitch now we're going to move on to the very next stitch in this row very next one going into the back loop only and we're going to grab and pull up our yarn grab and pull through two to do our second back loop only single crochet and we're just going to keep working that same way all the way down until we get to that last stitch and we're going to meet back up so we can do that last stitch together so you're just going to continue on down your row doing a back loop only single crochet in each and every stitch so pause here and we'll be back in just a moment Here we are meeting up at the end of your row. You've worked a back loop only single crochet into each and every stitch. So you're just looking like this. We're gonna go right here into the very last stitch. And we're gonna make this super, super clear. So we're gonna make sure that we go in that stitch entirely and get under that V. You always, always, always wanna work under your complete V in the very last and very first stitch in every row. So you're just going to do a traditional single crochet here. So you've inserted, pulling up a loop, you're going to grab and pull through two to finish that out. So now the way that I like to bind off is by chaining up two. You can chain up one, you can chain up two or do ever, do however you want to bind off. But I like to chain up two and then I'm going to clip my yarn and you're going to need to do the same. So we're binding off here so we're going to clip our yarn just like that and I like to just pull that tail on through and then I'm going to grab the tail and I'm going to place my fingers right above those two chains I made and I'm going to pull on the tail while I push down with my thumb and index finger so we're going to go ahead and do that together so grab that tail thumb and index right above your little chains and pull and cinch down and that is how we make that little knot right there. So now we are going to go ahead and switch colors. And we're going to be switching colors over to color B this time. So we're going to move right along. We're going to come right here to the very first stitch in the row. And we want to make sure that we are getting into that first stitch and not here into the side. So this right here is my turning chain over here on the side. And if you look right here, you can see that V. That's what we're going for. We're wanting to go into the V, not here in this little side loop because that'll throw off our counts. So we're just going to slide our hook under both loops, just like so. And we're going to go ahead and join on using color B now. So you're going to grab your color B, whatever color that might be. For me, it's going to be a pretty, pretty blue. And we're going to get started by doing a slip knot to join on finding my tail I apologize and we're just going to do a simple little slip knot I'm going to place it I'd like to do it like that personally you can do it however you want I've shown this in a little more in depth in some of my other videos so we're trying to kind of move this one along as if you have been watching and following along with me and I'm gonna grab that little loop that I have there on my hook and I'm just gonna pull it on up so I'm just going to pull that loop up. Now I'm going to grab my tail and working yarn and I'm going to grab and pull through doing a chain one. Now I'm going to let that tail go ahead and fall and I'm going to go back down into the same exact stitch. So I'm going to go right there in that same stitch. So I'm right there in the first stitch still and I'm going to grab and pull up a loop and grab and pull through all those little loops to do my traditional single crochet right there in the very first stitch. Now the repeat for this row is exactly like we just did on the last row. We're going to go right here into the very next stitch and we are going to grab our yarn, pull up a loop and do a back loop only single crochet. So we're working again in the back loop only. So we're going to go right there into the very next stitch into the back loop only. We're going to grab and pull up a loop and then grab and pull through two to do our second back loop only single crochet. So you're gonna keep working in the exact same manner. And just remember in your very last stitch of the row, you are going to grab under both loops 
and you are going to do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch. All the other stitches all the way down this row will be back loop only single crochets. So please pause here and we will be back in just a moment to move on to row number three. Here we are at the end of row two. I'm just going to do that with you guys. For those of you who are new to mosaic, I want to make sure you're getting this technique and exactly what we're doing. So I've gone under that V. I'm completely under that stitch. I'm going to grab and pull up a loop and do a traditional single crochet right here in the last stitch of the row. Now I'm going to chain up two again, just like I did before. In mosaics, we do not turn our work. We just simply change clip yarn and change color each and every row back and forth between two colors or as many colors as you like but we do have to bind off and we have a lot of tails at the end so I'm going to cinch that on down now we're going to get started on row three together so same join on as we did before we're just going right here to that very first V and we're going to make sure that we go completely under the V get under that first stitch entirely so there we are under that V really nicely and we are going to be switching back to color A this time so we're going to grab your color A and we are going to jump right on in and join on so I'm going to do another slip knot this is how I like to join on if you have a different method you can definitely do that it's completely up to you but I'm just going to grab and pull back to form my little slip knot now I'm going to place that onto my hook and I'm going to go ahead and pull up that loop nice and easy. Now I'm going to chain one. So I'm going to grab my yarn and my working yarn and tail. You can just grab your working yarn if that's what you prefer. We want to do a chain one. Now we're going to go right back down into that same exact stitch. Get that tail out of the way. And we're going to grab and pull up a loop and grab and pull through all those little loops to finish out doing our traditional single crochet. So now we're going to begin row three. And to begin row three, we are going to do a single crochet like we just did here in this very first stitch. And then we move right on to our repeat. And our repeat starts with one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch. So here's my very next stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and lower my camera down for you guys. So we are going to do our drop down double crochet in that very next stitch. You're going to go ahead and wrap your yarn around your hook like you're going to do a double crochet any other time. We're going to identify the very next stitch. And now all we need to do is slide directly down and find that little bump. So right there, when I slide my hook down, there is a bump right here. And this is what's left from us doing those back loop only single crochets. So we just want to turn our hook and get right up underneath that. And we want to get that tail all the way so you guys can see. Now we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to pull up a loop with nice loose tension. Now we're going to grab our yarn again and we're going to pull through two. And we're going to grab our yarn again and we're going to pull through two. And that gives us our first drop down double crochet. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the trick. We're going to fold this back like this. So you can see that right back here, when I get everything out of the way for you, there is one stitch that we are covering with this drop down double crochet. And that stitch is right there. When you place your drop down double crochet back into position, you can tell that the very next stitch is right here because it's covering only one. So that's really important to make sure that you keep your count straight. Always check until you get the hang of it and make sure that you are not working into the same stitch that the drop down double crochet is replacing or covering. So for this repeat, we start with the drop down double crochet and now we need to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches to finish out that repeat. So we're gonna go right there in the very next stitch and we're going to pull up a loop and we're just going to finish out doing our back loop only single crochet. So there's one. We need to do a total of three. So right there in the very next stitch we're doing number two back loop only single crochet. And then very last one for this repeat number three back loop only single crochet finish that out. 
So very, very simple repeat for this row. We're gonna do it again together. So our repeat begins with one drop down double crochet, followed by three back loop only single crochets. So here's our very next stitch. We're gonna wrap our yarn, identify our next stitch. Now we're just gonna slide down and do our drop down double crochet. So we just go two rows below and there's that little bump right there. That is what we're looking for. We're looking when we slide down what's directly below us is what we need to grab up. We are just going to grab our yarn and pull up a loop, nice and loose tension. We won't want to stretch this all up or anything. We're going to grab our yarn again and pull through two. We're going to grab our yarn again and pull through two. Now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. So there's the very next stitch. And we're going to do one back loop only single crochet. Here's number two, back loop only single crochet. And here is number three, back loop only single crochet. And that ends our repeat. So you're going to keep working in the same exact manner, doing your repeat all the way down the rest of your row. So it's one drop down double crochet, and it ends with three back loop only single crochets. So you're going to be working in sets of four in that same exact manner all the way down to the end of your row. And when you get to the very last stitch in your row, remember, no matter what your repeat says, you are always going to do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. That helps us keep nice, straight sides by doing those traditional single crochets at the end, beginning and ends of our row. So please make sure that you do that. And we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number four. We'll be switching back to color B. And we are back, we're at row number four now. We have switched over to color B. And I've already joined on with my traditional single crochet in the very first stitch of the row. So to get started, we have to do a back loop only single crochet right here in the very next stitch. So we're just gonna go into the back loop only and we're gonna complete a back loop only single crochet. Now our repeat's gonna begin for row four. So for our, our repeat, we're going to be doing one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So if you take a look, we're going to be working right beside our previous drop down. So we find our next stitch, we slide down two rows below and we're looking for that little bump right there. So that little bump is what we're going for. So we're going to get underneath that bump this time. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook. We're going to slide down on the very next stitch and we're going to find that little bump. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. Now we're going to grab our yarn and pull up a loop. Nice loose tension. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through two and grab our yarn and pull through two. And now here in the very next stitch, we're going to be doing one back loop only single crochet. So right here's our very next stitch. We're going to go right there into that and finish a back loop only single crochet. And then right here in the very next stitch, we're going to be doing one drop down double crochet. So we just find that next stitch, slide down and look for that little bump right there. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. And we're going to finish out our drop down double crochet. So that's what our work is looking like so far. And we're going to do one back loop only single crochet. Actually, we're going to be doing five back loop only single crochets, but we're going to do one back loop only single crochet right here in this very next stitch. And then we are going to do a second back loop only single crochet right there in the very next stitch. Now we're going to do a third back loop only single crochet. The very next stitch. Now a fourth back loop only single crochet. The very next stitch. And a fifth back loop only single crochet ends our repeat. So your repeat begins over here with one drop down double crochet, one back loop only single crochet, one drop down double crochet and then five back loop only single crochets all the way to the end of the row. So you're gonna keep working in that same manner, doing your drop down, back loop, drop down, 
and then five back loops until you've reached the end of your row. So you can go ahead and pause here and we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number five. Just remember you're just working that same manner. One drop down double crochet, one back loop only single crochet, one drop down double crochet, just like so. And then my repeat is going to end with five back loop only single crochets over the next five stitches. And then we will move on to row five, but make sure that very last stitch in the row, you do your traditional single crochet in the very last stitch, no matter what that repeat is telling you to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what your work is going to look like after you finish two of the repeats. So that's what we're doing all the way down the road. We'll be back in a moment and move on to row number five. We're back for row number five and I've already joined on my traditional single crochet in the very first stitch. And our repeat begins right away on this row. So in the very next stitch, we're going to be doing a drop down double crochet. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook. We're going to find our very next stitch. We're going to slide down and two rows below, we're going to be working right on top of this other drop down double crochet and you'll find that there's a little loop just like every other time that's what we're going to pick up so it's the first little loop that you're going to come to right there and we're going to go ahead and finish out our drop down double crochet so there we have that I'm going to fix that tail so it doesn't keep getting in our way and now our repeat is going to end with three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches so we're going to go right here into the very next stitch so we're working on top of our drop down double crochet from the previous row and we're just going to do one back loop only single crochet in the very next stitch we're going to do a back loop only single crochet and in the very next stitch we're going to do a back loop only single crochet and that ends our repeat so our repeat begins again with one drop down double crochet. So here we are again. We're just going to slide down. We're going to find that little bump right there. That's what we want to pick up. And we're going to finish out with our drop down double crochet. Now of the next three stitches, we're going to do a back loop only single crochet. One in each. One. Two and three and that ends our repeat so you're going to continue working in the same manner all the way down the rest of your row doing a drop down double crochet with three back loop single crochets back loop only single crochets all the way to the end of the row and then we'll meet back up to move on to row number six so super simple repeat for this row one drop down, three back loops all the way to the row end, and you're going to start forming work that looks like this. So here's what our work looks like after finishing up row five. We are doing our traditional single crochet right there in the very last stitch of the row each time. And the way mine has worked out is I'm able to fit a drop down double crochet in the stitch right before the last one and that's what my pattern's calling for what the repeats calling for is to work in that manner so you just follow along with your repeat anytime you're doing a mosaic just keep doing the same repeat all the way to the end of your row and then of course always doing your traditional single crochet in the last stitch and I know it's kind of hard to see with all the tails but I do have a very straight and even edge and I know that's super important when we're putting on the border so keep working or if you're joining pieces together to form something like a bag or something a tote so just keep working in your repeat and you will never go wrong now we're going to get started on row six for row six we do need to switch back to color b of course so we're going to get started by switching over to color b which is the blue yarn for me All right, I've joined on with color B with my traditional single crochet right there in the very first stitch of the row. And our repeat begins right away for this row. We're going to start off by doing 
um, starting the repeat with two back loop only single crochets in the next two stitches. So we're just going to go right here in the very next stitch and do one back loop only single crochet. In the very next stitch we're going to do our second back loop only single crochet. Now we need to do one drop down double crochet. So right here in this very next stitch we just slide down two rows below and find that little bump right there. That's what we want to turn and pick up. Now we're going to finish out our drop down double crochet. Now we're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one. Here's two. Now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So you're going to identify your next stitch, slide down, find that little bump, go ahead and lift that up. Now we're going to finish out with our drop down double crochet. In the very next stitch we're going to do one back loop only single crochet. And in the very next stitch we're going to do one drop down double crochet. And that ends our repeat for this row. So our repeat begins over here with two back loop only single crochets, then one drop down double crochet, two back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet, one back loop only single crochet, and it ends with one drop down double crochet. So you're just going to keep working that exact same manner on down the rest of your row. So we're going to do that repeat again one more time. So we're going to do two back loop only single crochets to start our repeat. We're going to do one drop down double crochet. Very next stitch. We're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And then when we get to this section right here, we know we're going to be doing one drop down double crochet. Very next stitch. We're going to be doing one back loop only single crochet. The very next stitch. And then one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch. That ends our repeat. So you can go ahead and pause here and keep working in that exact same manner all the way down your row. Remember your repeat starts right here. Two back loop, one drop, two back loop, one drop, one back loop, one drop. All the way to the end of your row. We'll be back in just a moment and move on to what I believe is row number seven is our next row. And just to show you guys how this worked out for me in my case, I get here and I am working my repeat. It started right over here with those two back loop only single crochet, crochets. So I did two back loop only, one drop, two back loop, and I should be doing a drop here, but since I'm at the end of my row, I have to do my traditional single crochet right here in this very last stitch. So that's how that worked out for me, and that's what I mean by just do your repeat, but then when you get here, you always have to do your drop down, or I'm sorry, your traditional single crochet no matter what it's telling you to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end here. We'll be back in just a second to start row 7. And here we are for row 7. We're going to get started on that by switching over to our color A. I've already joined on my single crochet, traditional single crochet right there at the start of my row. And I'm going to do one back loop only single crochet right here in the very next stitch to get started with this row. And I have one of my little joins. So just ignore that. That's just a join where I was lazy. <laughs> and so we're going to start our repeat now. For row 7, we're going to be doing one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So we're just going to go ahead and identify our next stitch. Slide down and find that little bump. And we are going to grab and pull up a loop. Grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two, and that finishes out our drop down double crochet. Now we need to do one back loop single crochet in the very next stitch. So we're going to identify our very next stitch and we're going to do one back loop only single crochet into that. 
in the very next stitch we're going to need to do one drop down double crochet so we're just going to identify our next stitch pick up that loop and go ahead and finish out our drop down double crochet now we need to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches there's one and here's two now we need to do one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch and then we need to do one back loop only single crochet right there in the very next stitch I'm sorry we need to do two so there's one and here's two and then we need to do one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch this is what our work is looking like so we're going to go ahead and so our repeat ends with these two back loop only single crochets so to recap that we get started over here with our drop down double crochet then we do one back loop only single crochet, one drop down double crochet, two back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet, two back loop only single crochets ends the repeat. So we're creating this right here that's from in between one thumb to the other. That's what we're uh, creating. We're going to do that repeat one more time together. So we're going to start the repeat with one drop down double crochet right here into this very next stitch. one back loop only single crochet into the very next stitch one drop down double crochet right here into this very next stitch now we're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches there's one here's two now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch Going down there two rows below and picking up that loop and doing our drop down double crochet and now we end our repeat with two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches there's one here's two and that ends our repeat so this is what your work is going to be looking like as you finish up row number seven so you're going to work on down the rest of your row working exactly as i'm showing you here doing one drop down one back loop one drop down two back loops one drop down two back loops all the way to the end of the row we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row eight all right here we are ready to move on to row eight and i've switched back over to color b we're going to start off in our very first stitch we've done a traditional single crochet to join on our yarn and now our repeat begins and it is kind of a long one but it's easy so we're going to start by doing one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch so we're going to do one drop right here in this next stitch one drop down double crochet then we do one back loop only single crochet right here in the very next stitch so we're over that other drop down now in between these two we're doing one more drop down double crochet now we need to do one back loop only single crochet now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in the next stitch sliding down and finding that loop two rows below and now we're going to end our repeat with three back loop only single crochets over those next three stitches there's one here's two and here's three so we're going to recap that so we do one drop down double crochet one back loop only single crochet one drop down double crochet one back loop only single crochet one drop down and then three back loop only single crochets so i remember this by going drop back loop drop back loop drop 
three back loop. And you're going to work in that exact manner all the way down. And if you take a look at what you're forming when you start your repeat again and you do it again, you can look at your work and see what you're doing. So I just started the repeat again. So it's one drop down. So we need one back loop only single crochet. Now we need one drop down right here in between those two previous drop downs. One back loop only single crochet. So we're working right on top of the other drop down. And then one drop down right here beside. Very next stitch. And then we do three back loop only single crochets across this little section. There's one. Here's two. Here is three. That ends the repeat. So what you're forming is you're bringing this on up and you're making these little kind of cross shapes there in between. So keep working the exact same manner all the way down the rest of your row. Remember your repeat started right here with a drop down double crochet and it ends right here with the three back loop only single crochets. So work in that same exact manner and come back to me when you are ready to move on to row number nine. And here row number nine, I've already joined on with color A in the first stitch in the row doing my traditional single crochet. We are going to do our repeat is going to begin in just a moment. We're going to need to do one back loop only single crochet right here into this very next stitch. So we're just going to go right there in that very next stitch and do a back loop only single crochet. Now our repeat is going to begin. We're going to wrap our yarn around our hook and get ready to do our drop down double crochet. So we're going to go right here to the very next stitch and we're just going to slide down and find that little bump right there. We're going to do one drop down double crochet to start our repeat. Now we're going to do one back loop only single crochet right here in the very next stitch. And then we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch. Oops, try not to split that loop when you pick it up. Now we're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. So there's one and here's two. Now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch. And we're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And that ends our repeat. So your repeat begins over here with one drop down double crochet and then you do one back loop only, one drop, two back loops, one drop, two back loops to end your repeat. So you're going to work in that same exact manner all the way down the rest of your row and we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row 10. And here we are ready to move on to row 10. This is what your work is looking like after row 9. We're going to get started right away. I've already joined on with color B with a traditional single crochet in the first row. And our repeat begins right away. We're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. So this starts our repeat. So there's one. And here's two. Now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch. So we just go two rows below and we find that little bump right there. First loop we come to and we're going to go ahead and pick that up and finish up our drop down double crochet. Now we need to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. Now we're going to do one drop down double crochet over the next stitch right there. We're going to do one back loop only single crochet right there of the next stitch. And we're going to do one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch to end that repeat. So our repeat began over here with two drop down double crochets. Or I'm sorry, two back loop only single crochets one drop down double crochet, two back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet, one back loop, one drop down. 
So you're going to keep working in that same exact manner on down the rest of your row. And we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number 11. So you can pause here or you can stay with me. We're going to do this repeat together one more time. So I'm going to start my repeat again and I'm going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and here's two. Now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch. We're going to do two back loop only single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and here's two. We're going to do one drop down double crochet over the very next stitch. There's one. Now we're going to do one back loop only single crochet in the very next stitch. And then we're going to end our repeat with one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch. Oops, lost all of that. So our repeat would begin again here with two back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet, two back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet, one back loop single crochet, one drop down. So you're going to keep working that same exact manner on down the rest of your row. We'll meet back up for row number 11 in just a moment. Alright, so we are here at row 11. I've switched back to color A and joined on with a traditional single crochet in the first stitch of the row. And we're going to get started on our repeat. It begins immediately. We're going to go right here to this very next stitch. Make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So right here, the very next stitch, and we're going to start our repeat with one drop down, double crochet. So we're just going to go two rows below, grab up that loop, and finish out a drop down, double crochet. Now over the next three stitches, we're going to do a back loop only single crochet. So one, two, and three. And that ends the repeat for this row. So we are just doing our drop down double crochet, three back loop only single crochets all the way to the end of the row. So we're going to do the repeat one more time. Here is our repeat starts with one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch. We're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. One drop three back loops, one drop, three back loops, all the way down to the end of your row. So your repeat begins again, one drop down double crochet, and then we're doing one, two, and three back loop only single crochets to end that repeat. So this is what you're going to start forming as you work. So we're going to go ahead and pause here and you can meet back up with me in just a moment when you are ready to move on to row number 12, which is our final row for this mosaic. So you are almost done here. So pause here and we'll be back in just a minute to finish up on row 12 and finish this mosaic. And here we are for row 12, the final row. This is what your work is looking like. We have our uh, color B already joined on with a traditional single crochet right there in that very first stitch. And this is some really slippery yarn that I chose. So it is really kind of a pain to work with, I'll be honest with you. But we're going to get started on our repeat in just a moment. We need to do a back loop only single crochet right here in the very next stitch just to move over a little bit. And now our repeat's going to begin. We're going to be doing one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch to start the repeat. So we're just going to slide down and do our drop down. I have split this yarn. This is some fancy yarn that I cannot stand, sorry. So we're going to do one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch. One back loop only single crochet into the very next stitch. We're going to do one drop down double crochet right here into the very next stitch. 
and now we're going to do five back loop only single crochets over the next five stitches to end our repeat. So there's one, two, here's three, here's four, and five. And that ends the repeat for this row. So this is exactly what we did back on row four. So we are starting over again from row four and we're basically finishing out the um, top of our work by repeating that row. So I've started my repeat again with one drop down double crochet. In the very next stitch I do one back loop only single crochet. The very next stitch I do one drop down double crochet. And then when I get to this section right here I work straight across doing five so we're doing our five back loop only single crochets to finish out our repeat again. So there's one, here is two, here is three, here is number four back loop only single crochet, and number five. So you're going to keep working in that exact same manner on down your row until you finish up your um, entire row. You've got to do your repeat again one drop down double crochet, one back loop, single crochet, one drop down double crochet, five back loop only single crochets ends the repeat. So for those of you who want to move up and use this in multiple rows, you're going to be coming back to row five and I'll mark that on screen for you, but you will rewind back to row five to complete another repeat following right along with the video to complete another repeat of this exact same pattern. So if you're wanting to use this for a larger section than what you have right here, you're going to go back to row five and that's where you're going to work up from. So that forms your next repeat of the pattern. So each repeat that you want to do, you would just continue to rewind back to row five if you needed the help and watch the video again from row five all the way up to row 12 to finish up. So. Thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and are looking forward to the next Mosaic Monday already. I'll be back in a week from today. When you are seeing this video anyway, I'll be back with another Mosaic tutorial on the following Monday. So please make sure that you are subscribed and checking out all the videos on my channel. I do also do wearables and we'll have see some new wearable tutorials releasing in the coming weeks. So it's just a lot easier to do these mosaic swatches and teach you guys this method on a weekly basis and then I work on the other tutorials that take more time for me to crochet and film on throughout the month. So I will continue to do both wearables and mosaics so please make sure that you are subscribed and in the future coming towards the fall we're going to be doing some wearable mosaics as well. So that's something you might want to be on the lookout for in the next several months. So until next time, bye.